custom game browser coming in on Friday, why Edge isn't coming in with Season 6, possibility of Reach weapon skins, and why campaign crossplay is most likely never going to happen, but there is a little bit of glimmer of hope. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, want to see some more content like this, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more stuff like it. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So recently, 343 held a little bit of a MCC play day with the community. Now normally these are just kind of fun, casual hangout sessions with the members of the community and members at 343, but there actually was some good information that I think you guys would definitely like to know more about. In this play day, they mainly showcase a lot of the new content that's coming in with Season 6 that's currently in the flight right now, but I know a lot of you people, and I mean a lot of you, as in the majority of people, are really looking forward to that custom game browser coming into MCC Flighty. Well, if you're watching this video the day that it's uploaded, sounds like today. And this is what Postums had to say about that. The next update to the flight will include custom game browser, which is nice. going to be its first iteration of custom game browser. So it's going to be coming right. online in stages. And okay. in the flight, the first stage is going to be uh, it's going to be available for Halo Reach. Players will be able to build games, do all sorts of stuff like host join um everything is going to be on dedicated servers when you end up creating a host i heard even today that there was a feature that was added into it uh for in flight where players will be able to uh report things uh, or report game sessions and stuff like that um so we'll be able to take a look at that and make sure the tools on our side are working properly so because we have stuff going on behind the scenes as well when you guys are gonna hit the report button in the next update uh, to the flight um, we also have performance updates to waterfall and then we have a handful of bug fixes so if if all goes well um, end of the week it's a shame that starting out with just halo reach as i know that a lot of people want to jump into all the other kind of custom games you can pull off with all the other classic halo games but they want to kind of start this out with just one game and build it out over time to make sure that when it reaches its final stage, it's where it needs to be essentially. Being on dedicated servers is super nice as well. So there's a consistent connection so people can jump in and jump out with no problem. Now, currently in the flight, we are testing out two new Halo Online maps coming into the MCC. One of those being Waterfall and the other one being Edge. And it sounds like one of those maps, it's not coming in to the MCC for season six. That map sadly being Edge and Postums gives a reason why on this update. We are only going to be shipping one map um, with the next update. It is most likely yeah. going to be Waterfall. Um, we've heard feedback on Edge. There's a lot of different things that we need to go address, fix. Mm -hmm. I, there's a lot of feedback that has come in already just within the first four days uh, specific to that map. We initially, we, we wanted to get everything out there, get in front of players, but I mean, based on the feedback, we know that that one is not ready. Now it does suck to see that this map will not be coming in with season six, but this is why they flight is to test out content and make sure that things are working properly waterfall certainly has its bugs as well with the friday update hopefully on friday we'll be fixing a lot of those issues as well but one thing that definitely does show that if they can possibly get working before the end of this flight that maybe it could be added with season six but i say highly unlikely but this just showcase that they will be a flight for season seven as well and most likely each season coming forward as they probably will will be bringing in new halo online maps that certainly will need to be tested by the community so make sure you guys have your Halo Insider program profiles up to date. Also talking about seasonal content, they got asked a question about Halo Reach weapon skins. As we do know, Halo 3 has been getting a lot of love. CE has been getting some love as well. What about Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 2, and Halo Reach? And also a little bit of Halo 4. Well, this is what they had to say about Halo Reach weapon skins. When will we get new Reach gun skins? That I don't know. That I do not know. Good question. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good question. So right now, it sounds like there currently really isn't much in the way uh, being worked on when it comes to weapon skins, at least for Halo Reach. Now, I know a lot of people in the community have been asking for this. I would suspect it to be something that they could bring into the game, though each game does have its own little quirks and difficulties as well. So maybe there's something up with the DMR that makes it kind of difficult or some kind of internal process that we just don't get to see on the user side of things that really makes it get things getting in the way when it comes to making awesome content for Halo Reach and H2. 
H2A. Another really big thing I've been seeing a lot in my comment section, a lot of my community posts as well, is about crossplay for campaign. It's currently not supported right now within the MCC, and when crossplay did come into the MCC, they did provide a little bit of a description why it wasn't being added at the time. In campaign, including campaign playlists and sparn ups, these areas where it is not supported are due to complexities required by updating netcode and issues our test teams found which would need to be resolved in order to get it up to par with what players would expect. So essentially what I'm reading this just basically just says that it's really complicated, it would take a lot of time and a lot of effort, and let's be honest, MCC is really only going to be popular until November when Halo Infinite releases. Maybe they wouldn't be able to fix this up in time. I mean, it took them a whole year to create weapon offsets for MCC. Postums was asked this question on stream about campaign crossplay, which kind of goes a little bit more in depth about the whole process. So here's his response. Uh, you're asking about crossplay for campaign. Uh, um, so we, we have actually discussed that in the past. We did that in a, that was a design interview update. Um, God, I want to say two, three months ago, or it was last year. I think it was October, it was October, or November. It was getting ready for when we were bringing crossplay out. Um, so it, it is something that um, we would love to uh, potentially investigate. Um, but at the time when we were initially developing crossplay, it was not something um, we, we could do um, just because of various, various issues with it. Um, and how how it was built so it's something we we would love to um, but there's it's something we would have to explore very heavily um, to make happen if we were going to so right now it is not uh, it's not something actively uh, that we are we are going after when I hear this it's a bummer yeah crossplay on campaign would be crazy enjoyable that's for sure but to be honest I have a feeling it would be a feature that wouldn't really be utilized a whole lot and it would take so much time to develop it sounds like that by the time Halo Infinite releases that they probably won't even be close to getting the campaign crossplay working. I mean, it took them a year, like I said earlier, to get the weapon offsets to work. So I don't expect this to come anytime soon. I mean, yeah, you can probably reallocate resources and stuff like that, but the team that's working on MCC right now is a rather small team that's focusing on this. And a lot of stuff that's being added into the game is stuff that's probably that could be easily created or stuff that's already been created and just needs to be ported over. That's what we're seeing a lot of when it comes to the Halo Online stuff, which is just why Halo 3 is getting so much love compared to everything else. How difficult is it to make a weapon skin or to make a season based around some other kind of games? I have no idea. I mean, we none of us really do. And so honestly, I'm just kind of happy that we are getting seasons that we can grind out for cool content that we can utilize in the game. That's something that I was totally not expecting throughout the whole year. But I wouldn't say all hope is lost when it comes to something like this or just other features coming to the MCC that you would like to see come in because this year for MCC, they are really focusing on trying to get mod tools working. This is something that they've been working around in the background ever since the release of Halo 4 on PC, that three for three, I think it's been really kind of focusing on trying to get mod tools working because this is going to be the one thing that's going to keep MCC alive, keep, keep people coming back to playing a game. I mean, people have made crazy content about first Halo on the custom edition version of Halo, which came out like when 2003 or something like that. So giving modders proper mod tools to be able to play around with the MCC will be huge. And one of the more prominent modders within the community of Halo said this on Twitter. GameChi13 says, Well, on the bright side, I can confidently say 343i is not messing around when it comes to modding support for MCC. Think Halo Custom Edition levels of editing tools. If this is something that modders can work in with like the networking in some capacity or whatnot, then I think you can maybe see it come around with some easy implemented mods coming in for MCC. Again, that's pure speculation. I have no idea. I'm not a modder, but I feel like this is something you could possibly edit within the game. And giving modders the tools that they need to create content within the MCC is going to be the main driving factor of the MCC after Halo Infinite's release. From last we heard from 343 when it comes to modding support, it sounds like they're really just kind of working out the details and some of the licensing and stuff like that that comes with it because giving the community these kind of tools to work with content that people can do bad things with it or some kind of things that 
wouldn't be necessarily what was intended for mod tools. They need to make sure they keep their IP safe. So there's a lot of legal nonsense when it comes to giving mod tools, but 343, it sounds like they are dedicated to have that happen. When it does, I definitely will let you guys know on this channel. But if you guys have missed any videos from me recently or been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I've got a link to all my news and info videos right there. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.